A very good evening. Today is Shotojit Rai's centenary birthday. 100th year of his birthday. 2nd May 1921, he was born. Shotojit Rai has been playing important roles in people like me who has become a scientist. People like me who was born Bengali, who could read Bengali and who could not understand when science has entered their life. To me specifically, I never understood that when I become affectionate to science. And I had a very interesting and uncommon scientific journey, which I'm not going to share today. However, it is very important for me to emphasize that Rai has given some very important literary work to the Bengali communities, to the Bengalis, as well as to the world. Some of his work has been acclaimed by the international communities as much as by the Bengali communities. I would like to give some specific example here that why specifically he has played some important role in my life and which is why some of the work I am doing and I'm trying to do with others are quite a lot influenced by him. Before I do that, it is very important to mention some of his characters which he has created and which has created some very, very positive impact in people like me. Professor Shonku and much before that, Peluda. These are the two characters which he has created and there are several other characters which I'm not talking unfortunately today because I would not like to talk for, very, for a very long time. The very first time I came to know about fingerprint is from his, his work. And the very first time I came to know about a journal which will play a very important role in my, role in my life, I, which I did not know ever, is the name um, of Nature. The journal Nature which he used in his novel called Shonar Kella, where one of, one of the characters is asking Peluda that, do you know about fingerprint? And uh, that is when Peluda refers to the journal nature and his author. So what is nature? Why it plays an important role in my life? Nature is one of the most important scientific journals in the field of science. And it publishes very important, very important, high impact scientific work. And which I could not have known if I never read his stories. And afterwards, of course, when I became a scientist, it is obvious that you have to um, you have to you have to read nature almost every day and you have to try to publish in nature. It's very, very prestigious to publish in that journal, by the way. Anyway, so coming back to the character Shonku, the explosion of scientific concepts and scientific events goes through Shonku's journey. Shonku is a scientist who lives in a very remote village and he has a private laboratory and through his laboratory and through his visit of different places in the world as we do as any normal scientist would do because we are we don't have any geographic boundary uh, and he has to visit every day um, to almost sorry not every day every year once or twice to different conferences all over the world and um, and he creates uh, very interesting instruments like uh, vanishing someone um, and um, and having a world um, on uh, with with a with a toy and things like that. 
so there are there are interesting characters um sign, very signs very um on earthy characters um where some um some creature like um um who 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 eats uh, who drinks acids and things like that so it's very dangerous though <laughs> one should not do this uh but but this is something you 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 can what i'm trying to say is that a mutated uh, animal which can consume acid and which where where acid uh, like sulfuric acid for example does not affect uh, their their body so 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 you see that it is it is something he is he has been giving to us and uh, we consumed um i specifically consume like anything uh, and i was as by 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 consuming i mean by his 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 writings so so why i think it's very important to mention his name today and why we should celebrate his um his centenary birthday throughout uh, throughout, the, throughout the the up the the coming year is because um there are many things to learn from him uh, still today i think um and one of the things what we are trying to do specifically um on the concept of outreach and and making uh making good humans we are trying to create a school and this is possibly i could take this risk and um and i could uh i could take uh, i could i could dare to do that just because um i studied in his school i am one of the few luckiest ones luckiest one um ones who studied in his school um which is founded by him and um, and one of my friends i'm going to talk about that as well um that we we two are also from that school uh, rather three of us actually from in that school it's called patu bhavan a school which was created by him as well as um patu bhavan society um which was which was formulated to give an un, a, a different kind of education uh to the bengali um not only bengali uh but the children of india so today um with a few friends um and not only within the patu bhavan society or patu bhavan school um so me ritu parna and momita three of us from this school uh we are trying to build another school um where we would like to have three concepts the three concepts are very 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 important uh and i don't know how we will uh, really make it happen um i'm going to talk about that a bit so the these three concepts are primarily uh uh making humans second of all customized education and last but not the least leaving nobody behind so what do we mean by he- making humans making humans is uh is something possibly india has forgotten and most of the schools colleges and universities are very 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 opportunity driven and job driven there is there is nothing wrong about that but uh it is very important to keep our humanities alive and today specifically when i am talking people are dying in india and there are very many reasons for that which i am not going to talk about i'm talking about the deaths due to covid-19 and um and the callousness of the human responsibility of keeping us safe who is behind it or who for whom it has been created i think that is not something to discuss here but it is very important that we should care about others we human being should be there for other human being second is a customized education and i think this is something very much missing if i want to study art if i want to study carpentry if i want to study sports i don't have a choice 
I have to study all the subjects, all the things as it is given. There are some changes happening, but it's not drastic and it's not something which should have been there much earlier. So customized education is something very important for today's age. Last but not the least is leaving nobody behind. And I think we have done quite a few good important we have created by we, we I mean human beings, uh, the society has created very many important institutions without naming any of them. It is very important to acknowledge that when a school is created, an educational institution is created, it must be inclusive. By inclusive, I mean we need to include every single people who are surrounding the school. So the public engagement is a very important part of a school. It's like a tree, where a tree is a home of many, many animals, creatures, small living beings. Similarly, an institution is an institution because there are many people, many events, many activities around it. So it is very important that that local engagement of the public must be there. So these are the reasons why we are embarking upon an initiative of starting a school. And it is been created is at this point we are quite a few scientists all together, business people all together, and trying to materialize a school which can possibly have an open book of Shotojidraya like characters where all the places everywhere people will have open-mindedness that's all so with this i think it's very important to mention that um, i'm talking about the open academic research council the open academic research group which is a indo-british non-profit company which has a very important agenda of solving public problems the open academic research is founded last, um, sorry, not founded last year, founded in 2017. But uh, very recently, we are formally uh, registered. And um, the council, as we call it always in India, is, uh, is going through a very difficult phase uh, for, for very, very, very many reasons in India and around it. So we are very much looking forward to this new venture of creating the school. Along with that, there are many scientific activities. Please have a look into our website. It's called www.openacademicresearch.org. And um, I would like to end by just saying that uh, my name is Siddharth Ghosh and uh, I'm one of the co-founders of, of this council. Um, there are many people uh, involved in the organization, so please visit us. We are very much interested in working with open-minded people um, and to celebrate the year of the centenary birth, uh, birth year of Shotojidra. And there will be a series of programs um, focusing on that. With that, uh, thank you very much. Um, and I would like to mention that um, uh, it's not a very good environment but spreading love and joy is going to create the environment much better so although the situation is green in your mind please say ahaki anundo akashi batashi that means uh, love and uh, affections are all over the uh, all over the air <laughs>